Welcome back guys, thanks for tuning in to Very Good Garage. Today we're going to be installing the Z-Pack RZP001 3-4 clutch packs in this 4L60E transmission. This is a Raybestos product that's a drop-in replacement for a 3-4 clutch pack on the 4L60, 65, and 80E transmissions. This product's a little different than you would find for your stock replacement clutch packs. If we open this up, you can see here, instead of having alternating frictions and steels, it's one side steel, one side friction for all of these rings. And it's advertised that it takes heat without coning, which we have really no idea what that means. So if somebody can let us know in the comments, that would be great. People on forums mentioned not having much luck over 500 horsepower with these clutch packs. We're gonna be making right around 430, 440, so we aren't super concerned with that. We read one guy burnt up several Z-Packs on his transmission, and we're crossing our fingers that that is not due to the Z-Pack and a line pressure problem or another problem with the transmission. So to do this job, you're gonna have to pull your transmission. We've already got the transmission out of the car and we've disassembled most of it and we've got the drum out. We aren't gonna show you how to do that. Uh, there's a guy on YouTube, we really like Transmission Bench. We followed Lesson one, part one to lesson six of his videos in the teardown and lesson two, part four and part five. We'll put it in the description, uh, check him out. So we're gonna dive right into this. Follow me, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. So we've got the input drum moved over to our table and we're gonna rubber up and get right into it. So opening this up, we have instructions, don't need those. So this is the old clutch pack. As you can see, it's a mixture of frictions and steels. Whereas our new clutch pack, each one is single-sided friction and the other sides is steel. Because we had a bunch of line pressure problems and our pump rotor shattered, uh, we thought it would be in our best interest to replace the clutches since we have the transmission out. So we're gonna take our old clutches and just set those to the side. We don't need those anymore. And we're gonna take our best Chinese takeout container and fill that with transmission fluid. We don't need to soak any of these thicker steels, so we'll set those aside and grab our clutches and we're just going to give them a little dip here. Now that we have our clutches sufficiently soaked, first thing that goes in is this grooved pressure plate and we're taking this groove and putting it face up like that. Next we install a grooved friction that has the splines on the outside. As you can see here, this is one of the frictions with the splines on the inside. Outside one first, then we install single-sided friction plate with splines on the inside. And you're just gonna do that with the rest of these, alternating outside, inside. Your last friction is a different color and is labeled top. And we're gonna install that the same as the others. Now this kit includes an additional shim. To get your clearance between 50 and 70 thousandths, if you need this, it is included. So we're gonna try it without and check our clearance. If we need to, we'll remove the snap ring and install this. Last thing to go in is this pressure plate. Set that in just like that. And now we're gonna reinstall our snap ring and check clearances. And now we're gonna use our feeler gauges to measure between our top pressure plate and 
the snap ring. So this is right now a combination of 22, 21, and 20 thousandths, which is 63 thousandths. And it currently cannot fit underneath. But if we try 17, 18, and 19 thousandths, which adds up to 54 thousandths, 50, about 54 thousandths, that slides right in. So now that we've checked our clearances, I just realized we forgot our load springs. So we're gonna tear this, take the snap ring back out, put these guys in, uh, and then we should be good to go. Now that we have the clutches installed, we're gonna throw everything back in the car, uh, drive it around a bit and see how it feels. We're back guys, and we've put about 400 miles on our new transmission after installing the Z-Pack clutches. So far we've had absolutely no problems. Our third and fourth gears don't slip at all while driving, and our shift into the third feels as firm as our shifts into second with the Corvette servo upgrade. We'll have a video on that, so stay tuned. I definitely recommend the Z-Pack, and we'll keep you updated as we throw some more miles into this transmission. And as always, if you like the video, like the video. If you wanna subscribe for more, subscribe for more. And we'll catch you on the next one.